Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a two-page layout for um, the zoo. It's actually Christmas lights at the at the zoo, but you can use this as a zoo page. Uh, the Detroit Detroit Zoo uh, does a whole wonderful Christmas display of lights, and you just you buy tickets ahead and you walk through, you spend the whole evening in there. It's huge. It's massive. Anyway, the paper I've chosen is from Me and My Big Ideas, and this is Bonnie Bell Snails Pad. There's, um, it's old, but uh, there's also vellum in it. Anyway, I like this pad. I've used it a lot for zoo pages. So I did select two different pages uh, from there. So I centered the one, this overall print, and then this one that has animals on it, I cut in half and I taped half to one side and half to the other. I just put a, a piece of white paper at the back and taped it. So um, I hope that's good. Now, that holds it, and then you, it doesn't separate. Okay, so I have pictures of rhinos and giraffes here. So, um, I'm doing them, I'm placing them like this. So what I did to, for a frame is I just cut a piece of paper. I did a border punch at the bottom, and I lined it with green, because some of these lights are green. I just put a piece of green paper at the back. And I'm going to put them on here, just like that. So, my inspiration for the cricket images is uh, the animals here. I'm doing giraffes and rhinos on this page. So, um, like that. Now I'm going to, um, I don't usually leave a lot of taping because it takes forever, but, oh, this one, I turned it this way, and I'm going to put the pictures at the bottom of the border, just for a change, so, um, I then made some images of some giraffes and rhinos, and I'm going to put those on here in a second. You'll see them. Okay. So I did some giraffes. I'll put that up there. I'll put these two here. I um, added some a bit of green to repeat the green that's there and I alternated the colors and then I did some rhinos. Here's giraffes. I'm putting this one here and the rhinos up here. But before I do that, I need I embossed the rhinos uh, with this star um, embossing folder. And I embossed the giraffes with this because it looks like a giraffe print as well. So for the rhinos though, because they're so big and plain, even after I've embossed them, I'm going to ink the tops of them. So um, this is how I'm going to do that. I just have a stamping up ink and I'm going to just rub it in circles so it isn't too much and then I'm gonna just rub this gently in circles and it turns my big plain uh, rhino into something that's a little more interesting if you just gently do this you should only just there now he shows up a little better And now I'm doing this fella. Okay. Um, 
The other thing I'm going to do is I put googly eyes on these giraffes, small ones, but I like big googly eyes on things. The bigger the better. So I am going to put some googly eyes on these rhinos. So I have my trusty little jewel picker. I love this tool. It has a, a fat end and a skinny end and it's for picking up jewels so that you can glue them. So I am uh, I'm gonna glue an eye right right there. It just you just tap it. It's quite sticky, so you just tap it, and that holds it. In, you hold it in place. Now for the other one. This is the most wonderful tool. When I saw it, I freaked out. Didn't know there was such a thing. It is amazing. I do like big googly eyes on my critters. I think it makes them cute. I did have this like this. Let me see. Okay, now I found a title. It's called It's a Zoo in Here, which is exactly what it was. So that was cute. So I have my title there. Now I don't like, <clears throat> oh, this is the border punch I used to make this. This is um, Stampin' Up! star border that's the punch i used for here um there's a design there will be a design space link for this page if you like it you can copy it i will post it below the video and there's a link to my website there because all of my pages have um design space links you can copy them all right now i'm going to i, I i'm not quite finished so I decided to put a border under here because I don't like my images just floating so I'm putting these on the border I am going to put foam dots on the backs of these and lift the giraffes and the title and here I found this funny border it's um, alligators or crocodiles floating in the water and a chomp and the color had blue, it had blue glitter. So I thought, I'm going to put this behind here. It's really cute. It was a K and Company package of borders, I believe. So I have to move my giraffe over so that he doesn't. There we go. Otherwise, he's hiding the big alligator head. <clears throat> um... I think I think that's it for this page so I hope you like it um, and go to my website you'll find lots more pages to inspire you there thanks for watching